text live. Um, I chose this project because it's really cool. And I wanted uh, to know, know how lie detectors work because I took a forensic science class once before. OK, so how does it work? So first, um, you put your finger, your pinky, into this, this um, Velcro and two other fingers into the other two Velcros. Then um, it'll do the first step out of two steps. So the first step is it'll um, use a simple algorithm to calculate your resting heart rate and resting galvanic skin response, which is basically your um, skin's electricity conductivity. And then um, it finds your average skin, average galvanic skin response by dividing the total amount of this, like your, the sum of all your, your galvanic skin responses and the total amount of galvanic skin responses. And then it takes that variable and puts it into the resting galvanic skin response. And then so here, OK, um, and then after that, it'll see if you're lying or not. And that's step two. And then if the green light lights up, that means the machine thinks you're not lying because your heart rate is like normal and your galvanic skin response is also normal. If the blue light lights up, then your galvanic skin response is slightly above normal and your heart rate is also slightly above normal. And if the red light turns on, that means your galvanic skin response is a, a lot above normal and so is your heartbeat. Okay, so here's the video. Okay, so in the middle of the screen, in the middle of the box, there's a OLED display screen and then it says calibrate. That means it's calculating the average BPM, which is beats per minute and galvanic skin response. And then that um, chart, that's the blue lines, is every single like spike in the lines means one of your heartbeats. And right now the blue LED is on. That means the machine thinks I'm a little bit suspicious, but doesn't, uh, but doesn't think uh, that isn't too sure. Um, and earlier the red light was on. And right now it displays my BPM. Okay, so. So you might be wondering how I find your galvanic skin response. So basically, um, when, I put, when you put your fingers inside this, you basically complete the circuit. Because right now, the circuit isn't connected together. And um, the circuit puts a little bit of electricity through your fingers, which doesn't hurt. And then, it, like, and then it goes out through the other circuit, and it gets your galvanic skin response. And in order to get your heart rate, I shot a green light through this. At, and it reflexes off, it reflects off your finger and it bounces back into a transmitter, which um, finds out how much blood is in your finger. And every time there's like a spike in the blood in your finger, that means you have a heartbeat. Okay, so I faced one main challenge in um, making my first milestone. So when I was done with everything and I had everything on the breadboard, uh, I tested it and only two, one LED light up, lit up and then the other two just start, didn't light up for some reason. So I tested if my LEDs were broken, but then they weren't. And I tested my wires, and my transmitter, I mean, my resistor and my Arduino, but they were all working. So then I eventually I tested my breadboard and it turns out half my breadboard wasn't working. And it took a really long time to find out it wasn't working because um, I, I only used the working side. And yeah, um, if I had more time, I'd probably add uh, uh, a system that gets rid of my heartbeat monitor here because it like every time there's a new heartbeat monitor a, a new BPM it replaces this one well it doesn't replace it it like plays right on this one so it like overlaps this one and it's like really annoying so I want to get rid of this current BPM monitor and get it added like whenever I need a new one um, okay in conclusion I learned a lot in blue stamp such as um, coding in Arduino, um, soldering, and CADing, or like uh, coding, like using 3D printing stuff, like coding 3D printing stuff, and a lot more. Okay, thank you. <laughs>